scorn of a big blue engine was being rather distracted with all the complaints about how cold it was and about the snow around. Even so that when James was having a wash down one day, as the workmen put the water on James, it started to freeze and so they had to stop. James was annoyed to find out his paint had to be scraped and be repainted the next week because of the ice and snow. However, that wasn't the only engine who complained to Gorn about snow and how cold it was. Other engines did so too. All the negativity he didn't care for started to make Gorn Someone to complain. You know, said Gordon, you're all just too weak to deal with a bit of snow. And is a bit of cold temperature easing your boiler? I mean, come on. It's just winter. Uh, sorry that, Gordon, but we just don't like cold temperatures or snow. Ugh, don't you know you're going to be in trouble because of snow someday? Huh, <laughs> what do you know, he said retorting. You're the kind of guy who'd take a taxi or bus instead of driving. <laughs> you don't know about rails as well as me, little person. The engines decided to be silent. The next day... Stepney's celebration had finished, and he was about to leave. Everyone had a great time, but now it had to end. Sir Tom had told that there were not going to be no other jobs for the rest of the day, and so Gordon took that as an advantage. My fire of the first, he said to himself. I might have some peace and quiet to myself. Hmm, maybe, just maybe. Hmm. Her top hat moved out of the way and Gorn passed along. Gorn went quite fast and it went along quite well. Soon enough, Gorn was starting to approach Tidmouth Sheds. As the sheds appeared in sight, Gorn tried to slow down. However, as he tried, he couldn't. <laughs> I think we're getting a bit close right now. Put the brakes. <laughs> However, even with the brakes on, he still didn't stop. Come on, you shitty rails, we're getting too close for now. Oh, oh no, we're going to crash. Gorn tried his hardest to stop, but he couldn't. And so then it happened. Help, he cried. Poor Gorn lay dazed and surprised off. The rails. Gorn was wishing steam as a call for help. As Sir Tom had heard the news from the station, he hurried on to see what was the problem with Gorn. As Sir Tom had arrived, he saw Gorn blocking the turntable, completely destroying it so that it wouldn't work. Well, Gordon, it seems as when Stepney leaves, you want to have an accident. What a good move, eh? Gorn said nothing. He just wished more steam silently. Later that day, Sir Tom had announced the news to the other engines. The engines really didn't like going in other sheds. Especially Edward, who had no idea where to sleep at. 
but that's a story for another day.